Hello, everybody. Assalamu alaikum. Bismillah rahman rahim. So let us begin, inshallah. Are you all excited? How many are there today? Yes, mashallah. We have Reshma, Aslima, Jasira, Tasmina, Reshma, Parveen. Jazakallah, Reshma. Vayak, ma'am. Yes, mashallah. So all are there. Camera on. Mashallah, I'm expecting everybody to be with your camera so that you get the certificates also, inshallah. Yeah. Of course, even we will not be allowing our children in the school also to write the exams with the cameras off, right? How can we give them certificates? Yeah, mashallah. So you have come with paper and notepad and a pen and everything. Mashallah, I like that. <laughs> yes. So how many of you yesterday, those who have not joined, joined today? Anybody here like this who has not joined yesterday and want to join today? We will have a quick recap. That's why. How many here are joining today and yesterday you haven't joined? Just raise your hand or tell me. Yes, I am the one. Ruxana, have you joined? Sabina Ilyas was there yesterday. Yes, Mehnaz was there. Okay. Anyone who has not joined yesterday, please let me know. Others... If you are, um, you know, you, you remember anybody who whom you feel like they can take the maximum benefit out of the session, again, send them the private link and tell them that this is the one you have to come and join. Okay, let them join because let them take the benefit. You will be getting Sadaka Jariya, inshallah. Okay, yeah. So in this noble month, as much as possible, let us grab all that, inshallah. Okay, let us make it fruitful. Yes, today is my first class. Yes, Rufsana, I thought so. Yesterday you were in there, I suppose. Yes. So those who ever want to uh, claim your certificates, then you should have some conditions. That is what I said. You can be with your cameras on. You can have your nakab. You can have your eyes cap, whatever, hijab and everything. Wear it and then come and sit here. Okay. So this is... The way I, I give certificates to all these people who are really dedicated. Just Sabina, Jazakallah khair. Mashallah. Okay, and uh, Reshma, I understand. Since you are on the bed, I, I still have, I, I really understand. It is very difficult. Reshma, Parveen, uh, I think you are not keeping well. May Allah grant you speed recovery. And uh, but still you have joined. That is a commitment that shows. I'm really, really thankful, uh, Reshma. So I understand the last two sessions. Thank you for understanding. You were uh, switching on your camera. You were there with me the last three sessions also. Alhamdulillah. But today I understand due to maybe the emergency. So it's all right. Let us all pray for her. Inshallah, uh, for the speedy recovery also. Inshallah, may Allah give you total. Shifa and Afia and may Shifa Allah, Allah khair, make all kinds of happiness and ease inshallah in, in the future. Okay, Jazakallah khair. And let us proceed now. So how many are excited? Come on. Say Bismillah. Excited? Yes. Type in excited or EX. Yes. EX. Chat box will be always full as normally what I do. Okay, I want everybody to Use your chat box and your fingers will be very super smart. Okay, super quick. Yes, that's how. Yes, mashallah. That's that's wonderful. Sayda, Alfia, and Mehnaz. Yes, excited. All are excited. Yes, come on. So we have almost 15 people here. In, Alhamdulillah, let us join and uh, let us do it. Some this this day will have some some kind of fruitful, um, you know, the session will be, I'm sure will be fruitful and uh, that will give you a lot of insights. So yesterday, whatever we have learned, how many of you are still aware of it and remember it? How many of you are able to take in all that, whatever we have learned yesterday? Two types of personalities we were discussing about, right? Yes, first one was power and the second one was praise. Yes, the praise and yes, we already discussed about that. 
we will be um, i want to wholeheartedly welcome each one of you and thank you again for the reviews that you have given in the group as well as some of you as promised you have given me good reviews in the google as well so let me tell you why i ask you this google form and google reviews only because people will reach out more okay so that you know they are able to see who is there who can facilitate in these terms and you know they can help who are the ones they can seek help from so we will be able to guide them in a better way when you give the reviews on google some of them have only given the stars that's also fine but if you give more of comments and something like this that will bring a better reach okay so people will be reaching out in a better way that's the reason we ask for google reviews so the the comment that you have given that will be helping others also in one way or the other. See, we don't know in what ways we will be the torch bearer of others, you know, for others in life. So maybe our one comment can create a lot of changes in the other person's life as well. Right. So let us be the torch bearers. Jazakallah Hafiza for keeping your camera on. I like that. So let me tell you, Hafiza is also one of my students here. She's working right now as a teacher. Okay, mashallah. Great. Okay, so just a small recap for those who haven't joined yesterday. We were talking something about four types of personalities. Under that, this was the first person who spoke about, okay, Juveria, please, uh, there's, some, there's some annotation going on. Kindly make sure that these are not done. Okay, delete all the annotations, yes. I'll do that, but uh, be mindful about it. Jazakallah. Now, we will be talking about this particular thing. That is, uh, William Walton was a person who initially started to study about the personalities. So, all these different kinds of personalities, how they differ from each other. And he started categorizing them into four types. And that's how we have DISC came into being. Disk is nothing but the initials of the first alphabet or it's the first, it, it is the initial of the word dominant, influential, steady and compliant. So these are the four personalities, dominant, influential, steady and compliant. So these four personalities are all put together and the four letters are representing the four Four, uh, did, uh, this alphabets are representing four personalities. Okay, so that's it. Later on, different other ha others have evolved like that only. I have mentioned few others also, how best and dope came into being also. And in that we have again to categorize, we have this four P's of personalities, which we are going to discuss. That is about power, one who is power seeker. Is nothing but the dominant person. Praise seeker is nothing but influential person. Peace seeker is nothing but a steady person. And process seeker is nothing but compliant. Now, can anybody represent these four traits or these four personalities with four birds? I had told about this in the last session. Power represents what? Power Eagle. represents what? Eagle. Yes. Eagle. Presence eagle. So one who was not there yesterday, those who have not uh, watched the recording and you didn't find it, I mean, you're not able to follow this. I'm just telling you. Power is nothing but, it is nothing but dominant. At the same time, you can represent it through Gold. words. That is nothing, that is, that is eagle. Okay. So how eagle is? It's very dominant, it is goal-oriented and it tries to uh, have, you know, it is almost at a fast pace. One minute, just a minute. Okay. Now, this is something that we have to understand. Like, a, like an eagle, the person behaves like an eagle. Now, praise personality, these peacock. are the ones like? Peacock. peacock. Peacock, exactly. They are like peacock, show off. They try to seek attention from people. They try to seek, um, uh, you know, praises or appraisals from people. They want more praises. And the more you praise them, the more they are given attention, then 
they try to be very closer to you right that's what and we have also discussed in what ways you need to help them or facilitate such students right how many are able to recall all this you feel that yes you feel that this is okay so i told about the power how they are they are very decisive they want to take risk they are goal oriented they want to have competitions anything any chance they get to show their leadership they are in for it any time okay they are any time they want to plunge into that leadership and they want to take that initiative that kind of people okay anything they are willing to do they are able to take risk without any without any um, uh, you know obstacle they don't have they don't they don't hesitate okay now if we are talking about the praise seeker i don't want to talk more about this this is just a recap i want to give you okay so the uh, here in the praise seeker what do they do they are also fast paced but they are not very responsive right they are little low responsiveness they have and also they are assertive what do you mean by assertiveness whatever i believe i stand for it i don't want to go against my own vision my own thoughts i never go against it whatever i want now anybody is uh, you know i have a chance where somebody will praise me i will be in for it that is a praise or influential personality anyone who feels like if if you feel that i can do better than others wherever you feel like that then you get into that particular task and you see to it that you complete it because you will you know that you will be praised for it okay and i have given the example how the class leader imagine the person who was a class leader in this particular session here if the person is uh, an influential person he will go and initially talk to his friends and tell him tell them that i don't want to write your name please keep quiet okay why he is doing this he doesn't want to mess up with the relationship he wants to have relations he wants to maintain good relation okay now let us proceed with the second one or the third one i'm sorry oh. yeah the third one already for peace peace no. yeah the peace seeker are again they are the people who are people oriented like dove exactly they are like dove these people are like pigeons they are very soft kind of people they don't want to hurt people and they are less assertive and less responsive they don't take more responsibilities they don't take risk at all always in the comfort zone until and unless you push them they are quiet till when they'll be quiet unless you push you have to give a push okay this is okay this is something that you have reached the milestone now come up more than this also you need for example if i tell you the child is getting 65 70 marks although he is having the capacity to to score better he is in that 60 65 that level and if nobody is pushing him nobody is giving him any kind of motivation or a pressure the child will be still there he is happy because he feels i'm friendly now no need to he's at moderate pace he doesn't want to take that risk also he doesn't want to take that pressure also i'm safe ma'am 60 65 yes i'm meant for it this is for me this is enough that is what the child will be thinking this kind of a person will never go and take risk he doesn't initiate to take any kind of risk and if the person is made the class teacher or the class leader there he is very nervous and then he will tell you ma'am tell the whole class that i am the leader they will not listen to me ma'am understood these people will be not taking that risk or they don't want to take that initiative of that leadership or you know any any chance that they get by chance if they get also they will see to it that they manage everything together everybody together and go 
nicely and if the person is so sometimes what happens is these leaders have to do each and every work others in the group may not do at all have you all observed such people if you were any any leader in one any in uh, maybe you know uh, the science experiment or you had any group wherein you had to do everything and rest of the group members were least bothered about have you all observed such students everything one person had to do i was a person who belonged to this category also when i was there most of the things people used to make me do all this and i used to do it not now any more i will not i have evolved i have changed i have changed the strategy i started believing that leadership is not about you know one person's growth it is like community should grow together i should build multiple other leaders that's what i learned in my career when i became a when i became a principal so earlier initial one year i was i was suffering because of this okay we are good listeners these people or peace seekers they are good listeners they listen to lot of things they play like a team leader when they play a role what do they do they try to take all the responsibilities themselves in such a way that they will not hurt anybody else got it they are able to take that initiative only when they feel that okay others will feel bad no how can i go and tell them to do this work it is their responsibility ma'am they have to come and do no how will i go and tell are you able to follow this is what is happening they are very good in maintaining relations these children they see to it that their cordial relationship with spouse or with their children with their siblings are not damaged understood when you have peace seeker when imagine a peace seeker a dove at home and an eagle at home imagine the situation what is going to happen have you all observed one who is always submissive always trying to you know uh, pull out or saying that i will not be trying to get aggressive no mama it's all right mama it's okay let him do whatever he wants you give him what he, whatever he wants i'll not interfere have you all observed such children it's because they are peace lovers they are supportive they are submissive they they like sharing things they like to do things which others like okay they want to make others feel at ease when they are there thinking more about others they don't want to confront they don't want to argue they don't want to be in that aggressive mood all the time got it okay yes yes so this is something called the peace lovers or the peace seekers now what are the do's they are very very emotional make make it very clear they are very emotional they try to make sure that these emotions they maintain at the same time they expect others also to maintain that they expect that others also should understand my emotions they get lost they get pissed off when people don't care about their emotions imagine the person doesn't want to mingle much he is not getting socialized much okay now those who ever have joined my multiple intelligence can anybody tell me what intelligence is high in this particular child can anyone tell me peace lovers peace seekers which intelligence is high in this child any guess interpersonal interpersonal okay in what ways they mingle they yeah. they do friendship fast you know they understand people and they understand people in a better way yes at the same time intra is also high about yeah. themselves 
okay, about themselves. They know about their own emotions, about their own feelings. Okay, that's how. And especially influential have got influential personality. They these have got very high intra interpersonal relations, interpersonal intelligence. Okay, because they are able to capture people. Yes, they do not mingle very easily. Yes, sometimes they they do not mingle, but not all the time. Okay, when their intra is high. If their intra is high, then they definitely mingle. That's not an issue. Okay. But here, what we need to do, understand their emotions and be very calm with these people. Peace like, those who are peace lovers, they like others also to be very calm to them. Sometimes it so happens, you know. Once it so happened that my, uh, my mentor, who is from Dudhyana, he is very... Uh, what do you call it? It's loud. They they have that loud gestures, you know. We in Mangalore and we from the southern Indian uh, people, we are mostly milder or softer. When you see those Punjabis, you know, they say, oi, when they say we, we get scared. <laughs> the way they speak only, you know. So the way he spoke to me also, I got pissed off. I don't know what, what, I, what I've done. I broke down. And um, I was like, and he was shocked. Are Karis, what happened? I didn't tell anything serious. Yeah, why, why this is happening? So I said, sir, you were too loud. I felt. I mean, I mean, I felt that you were shouting at me or you no know, yelling at me like this. I I didn't feel. I didn't know how to how to react. So these, you know, they they expect others also to be very soft and mild. So try to build rapport with them. Rapport means try to have connection with them as much as possible so that the bonding is very strong. Once that bonding is strong, they will never leave you because that relationship will be maintained forever. They will never leave. So try to be very personal with them. And I understand your feelings, you know. this You have to speak in that term only, that this person is very emotional. And see, this is something that you are very furious about. I understand. And it's okay to be furious. People will be like this. It's all right. You know, when you say like that, the child feels, yes, I'm not wrong. It's okay. Everybody feels it. Then I'll also, I can also express that it's all right but then you know when you take him into confidence and then start talking he will be able to explain very well you you will be able to explain with it very well and he will be able to even reciprocate okay and tell them specific task very easily they'll be able to understand specific task and do not argue your aggressive and confrontation will never work I know what you're doing. I know sitting silently what you will do, watching the mobile or doing all these things. I understand. When you're telling this to a peace lover, they will never trust you again. Trust issues will be majorly seen in such children where those initial days when they do not have that, you know, that understanding and that rapport, that connection is not there. They will never build trust. These children try to try to be aggressive also. They'll never be power seeker. Understand this. They will never turn to be a power seeker. They will never be into the next, another, uh, that, uh, you know, that dominant features will not be seen, but they will definitely show aggressiveness. Got it? Yes, all of you? Yes. Yes. Now, this is what you have to understand. What are the blind spots or the weaknesses here? They are open. Okay. And they can change also. Flexibility with changes. They are able to change anything that they want. You can easily change them. You can easily change their thought process. You can easily change through stories, emotional settings. Whatever you want to do, you can tell them. They will start believing you. Provided you have connection first. If you only start correcting, 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 connection will not be built. Recently, I came across a girl, a small girl. Mm. I'll tell you, she is in grade four. 
now i think she's in grade 5 last year and uh, what she did was she told me ma'am i don't i forgot phonics ma'am the moment she i spoke to her she said ma'am i forgot phonics i said who told you you forgot phonics my mama tells me ma'am okay so the moment i asked her can you read little whatever i told you to read if you, if you read i can analyze whether you have really forgotten phonics or not she started reading and one one small one one word she she was not able to pronounce and rest of the things she did i said mashaala you know so much more than me you know then how come your mom said that you have forgotten i am really yeah i can see that you have not forgotten when the moment i started telling her empowering words she was able to understand that she is far better than what her mother is thinking about her she was able to get convinced very easily so let them express first their thoughts and you then express your opinion but neither you you can't simply pose your corrections there okay unnecessarily i also had an another case where you know the child is very scared to write the writing problem i i don't know if you are also the this, this teacher is there last time when i spoke i found a teacher telling me the same thing that ma'am children are not able to write third standard second standard and all this children are not able to write how many of you are facing this issue writing issues children do not know to write okay you need not personally message it's all right everyone you can send it no problem okay okay yes the thing is why they are not able to write first thing is when the child is too young we start telling them oh this is wrong where is the line this is not the way to write erase it no it is dirty see like a crow's leg you have written no erase it mothers also we do teachers also we do that is the issue the child is corrected more at that point of time where he should not have been corrected okay so correction is not the problem correction can be done any time i'm telling you this corrections can be done any time based on the hadith also i'm telling you prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to never tell anything to anas radhiyallahu anhu he said for the past 10 years i've been living with him and he never told me why did you do this or why didn't you do this whatever has happened has happened and for that how you have to deal with it that was told later not at that point of time that is a difference try to understand corrections can be postponed i tell this to even parents during my uh, you know paid programs also whenever i do this paid programs eight weeks program i tell them correction is not the thing that you have to do mandatory is something that you need connections build that let them express now these children will not be very expressive okay they don't know to express influential personality they are very good at speech they are good at speech because they know how to attract people they know by their speeches like you know what kind of people they are can now if you if you think about these people they are like you know they these um, uh, i would say the steady people or the dove personality they are not very expressive they don't want to go out of the comfort zone unless you give them milestones now the child is getting 65 he will be very safe and saying oh i'm 65 no that's okay i'm getting my i got 65 this time also the moment you give them higher milestones mashallah 65 but next time i want you to score 70 so give them another milestone and you will be able to score better when you do this this time this is wrong next time i'm sure you will not do this mistake right yes or no tell me when you say like that the child starts thinking about himself he will have that you know now imagine i'll tell you the have you all observed any student by mistake he gets 10 out of 10 in the class by mistake if he gets 10 out of 10 by mistake how is he in the next class when he comes 
how do you Who think said? his attention his curiosity is there he's boosted yes, up in the class very happy he's very attentive he wants he wants to answer even if it is wrong you know yes ma'am i know yes they are very confident even if it is by mistake they get 10 out of 10 but what do we do we curb that particular confidence we try to make sure that the child is picked up when the child doesn't know the answer yes or no imagine the child is not knowing the answer and out of 25 30 all are raising the hand sometimes now these children have understood even if you don't know you raise your hand because mom will not call now we call those people we see analyze and within a very short span of time, very quickly, we are able to analyze that this child doesn't know the answer. And we tell them, now, come on, you tell me. Stand up, stand up, stand up. You tell me, come on. As if we want to prove that I'm right. I won and you lost because you don't know. I caught you. Look at the confidence, how it is curved by these teachers. Yes or no, tell me. Don't we do this mistake? unconsciously we are trying to curb them we are trying to hinder that particular quality or that skill in the child don't you think it is something that you know we are we are responsible for this somewhere it's not sometimes it is many a times many a times and this damage has happened with all our children. It has happened with us. Yes or no? We stopped. We stopped answering. We stopped telling what we know also only because only because we were scared whether we will be telling wrong answer. And whenever the child is telling the wrong answer, what do we do? Look at him. Ah, very nice. Yes, yes, yes. Look at the way you are answering. Got it? How sarcastically we try to bring things out and curb their power. These children, those who are mild, those who are soft, they cannot stand this kind of humiliation anywhere. And if it is a power seeker, he will be defiant. I'll tell you, he will defy. He will totally disagree whatever you start telling. That's how we have these kinds of children growing up these days. Because our teachers are not trained in that way. I am confidently telling this because I know what teachers are doing. I know what is happening in the classroom. And we've been experiencing this with ourselves. We have also experienced and we also, we have, we have our children now who are experiencing this. And I don't want this to happen. I really don't want this to happen. So increase the pace of action. 65, I'm sure. If you do this correction tomorrow, you will be getting 70 or 75. Challenge, will you do this and show me? When you do that, the child feels so confident and the child feels that somebody is there accountable and that pressure is seen. So next time, yes, dear, you will be getting 70 in my class. You will be getting this much in my class. I'm sure you will do it. So that kind of empowering words will bring a, a quick shift in their thought process and they'll start working for it. Understood? How many of you are able to understand this? Am I too fast? Now, how can you empower these things or these children? First thing is they should be in the group wherein you will not be giving them total responsibility, but you will engage them in the group. You will engage them in the group. You will say that you will be helping and you will also make a power seeker as a leader there. At the same time, see that all the work is distributed. The power seeker should distribute all the, the, the group activities. Okay? And this, this man, this person will be very well managing all the team because he likes to be in relationship. 
he likes to follow that you know people are all together uh, in the same page they go together and they they he is trying to convince people also okay group acceptance he will be accepting the group when he has certain whatever his duties are there he will definitely do it okay formal roles can be given small small roles can be given sub leader assistant leader give them these roles okay assistant leader can be given so he will be maintaining the conflict between students and the leaders conflict he will try to manage it understood that's how these children so can you identify at least three people in your in your family or in your school uh, where you are teaching now who belong to this category steady people tough people who are almost silent and very calm not not bothering you much anybody okay daughter yes you are able to do it mashallah wonderful yes that's great that's great jazakallah everybody others also i want it others also those are not replying also i want everyone to reply yes only one zay the eighth standard Hafiza, anybody else you could recall? Try to recall as much as possible. Why I'm telling you this? Because the moment you go to your classes again, you will feel like recalling and try to understand. Yesterday, I uh, I think um, one of my students, when I spoke to her, she said, ma'am, the moment I went to the class, I saw a girl who was talking too much and I told her, you will be a good speaker one day. And I remembered that statement that you told in the last session. Okay, she was talking too much. And what do we usually do? What do we do usually? We tell, complain this to their parents saying that she talks too much. Right? The same thing. The moment you see these kind of children, you will have the goals right in front of you. What I need to do with this child. So customized, you know, that environment will be there so that how you can treat your own student in a, I mean, you know, for each individual in what ways you can treat them, you can facilitate them that you will be able to understand. How many have got some bulb on moment till now, so far? Whatever we have learned, you are able to follow. Got some, something new out of this. Yes. Okay. Great. Great. Marshall. Alhamdulillah. Oh, wonderful. Next comes the process seeker. Have you all observed somebody in the classroom? Any 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 leader, for example, in the class who comes and tells. Mm. Ma'am, this girl was talking three times. So I wrote three. Ma'am, she was talking so much. She's disturbing so much, ma'am. So many times I told her, but she was not listening to me. She spoke seven times, ma'am. Have you all seen? Yes. Perfectionist. Yes. Yeah, yeah, plus three, plus one, 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 and five, ma'am. Yeah, plus 10, yeah. plus 20. Uh, plus 20, 40. Because yeah. this girl was never listening. Ma though it is a friend. Though it is her friend. Observe such people. Why? Now you have to understand. These are nothing but process seekers. They are like owl. What do they do? Like an owl, you know, they are not bothered about anything. They are not bothered about relation. They are not bothered about emotions. They are only bothered about the rules. Rule is a rule, no matter what. 
I would I would really appreciate the Japanese. I heard one of my mentors telling me in the in the talk that uh, once he went to went to Japan and late night it was a two o'clock night there when there was a signal people used to stop there even even at two o'clock what is the condition here in India imagine broad day dialogue and they don't stop <laughs> even if it is seven o'clock eight o'clock in the morning also or you know fun. if it is morning even even uh, I would say two o'clock when there's no police then we'll mm -hmm. sneak into that divider slowly and then escape that's how we do that's the difference right so try to make sure this is this is what we have differences is nothing but we are trying to make sure that some are there who are at very very accurate i would say perfectionist okay they want to be perfect in everything whatever i do every bit of thing should be perfect nobody should tell anything wrong about it how many of you belong to this category or how many of you can relate anyone falls into this category i'll be talking about this they are also goal oriented fast paced responsiveness is little lesser but they are assertive they'll stand and argue they'll say ma'am i told her ma'am 10 times i told her don't talk don't talk don't talk and 11th time also she was talking so i wrote right so i i have already explained four types of class leaders so that in the classroom you are able to identify i hope it makes sense all the four kinds of class leaders i have explained okay your son <laughs> nafisa and also halima sadia oh nafisa from delhi mashallah nice to see you after a long here. time Same here. Yeah. Yes. Hope you are doing well. Do I get the recording of this today's uh, video also? Actually, I have joined late, Kanis. No issues. No issues. You'll be getting it. Don't worry. Fine. This is all free. You Thank can, you. I have given this in the, uh, in the uh, you know, my first, already I have given the video. Recording is shared in the group. Okay. So, you can take it. No issues. Fine. Okay. Fisa Bilila, in the month of Ramadan, anything? For my May Allah, one day, okay. please. So, inshallah, do pray for me, for my family and my, um, inshallah. my all my family members and anything, okay? So, okay. inshallah. So, let me tell you, this is something we all have to understand, okay? These people are perfectionist and they seek perfection, but they are not good in relationship maintaining. Why? Why? Can anyone tell me? Anyone because has heard? Any, did, you, did you find such spouse seeking perfection all the time? What happens? I want the mobile to be on the table at 9 o'clock. And 9.15 I saw that the, tape, the, the mobile is still in her hand. How can I bear it now? That's not the way. Understood? Rule is a rule. So it is tit for tat. Whatever the, the, the words are spoken out, it has to be executed the way it has to be. These people will never be able to maintain very good relationship. Process seekers. They are all logical. If you give them all logical exercises or any anything logical or with the stats, if you give them, then they will agree. Otherwise, they'll not. Okay? And they are not very flexible in changing the rules. You have to convince them. Please, Papa, what 8 o'clock I should come home? Give me 8.15. Yeah, 8 o'clock my friend comes. Brothers will say, my friend comes to the masjid. I'll just talk to him for a while and then I'll come and by 8.15, 8.30, I'll be here. Yeah, so what? 
My dad says, no, eight o'clock is eight o'clock. I was here at eight o'clock. You also have to be at eight o'clock. That's what my parents have told me. You also should be here. You know, power seeker. So this is what the problem is. They are not very good in talking to each other, but they have very good problem solving skills because they have logic. Logical intelligence is very high. Okay. They talk everything in logical terms. Okay. And whenever you talk anything with these kind of people, have good research. Present it well. Very, uh, here also, just like a dominant person, here you need not, uh, I would say, um, you know, go around the bush. You just have to, you have to talk very seriously and to the point, whatever they want. Okay, but systematically, logical, any kind of, you know, you have your substances to be produced, whatever you want to present it, see to it that you give them a lot of research stats or data. They'll be agreeing. They'll get bold. Okay. And if you want to convince them, make sure that you do not argue here also because argument, you know what is happening with an owl. You are dealing with an owl. And you should be very cautious about it. Once the work is done, don't criticize it. They lose their confidence. They are confident. Okay. They are confident. Can a person have all the personality in some ways? Yes. It is there. We all have these four personalities. Yeah? It's all there. We all have it. But there are at least one or the combination of two which is dominant in us. Okay. Each one has got four traits also. All the four traits will be there. We know when to be logical. We know when to be steady. We know when to be dominant. We are. But there are people who are by default, they have got some traits more than the other. Okay. That's fine. So don't criticize these people when they do the work, you know, ah, perfectionist, come see this. Whatever you have done, you have added this particular thing here. Come, you call them perfectionist and then sarcastically you tell them that this work is wrong. You are going to her hamper their self-esteem, their self-image, what they believe in themselves. Don't do that. I hope it makes sense. Yeah? Yes. Now, what are the weaknesses here? They are not able to focus on people. They are not people-oriented. They cannot focus on people. They are least bothered what they feel, what they think about us, what they say about us. No, they don't care about it. They stop, in fact, they stop, they stop respecting us when we try to tell them something bad. Okay, so never try to do this and delegate the work for them. Tell them that this is your duty. You have to do this work and get back to me once you're done because I know you are perfect. When you start telling that, you delegate that work, telling, that, telling them that you have that power and you can do it, the child starts thinking about himself that I can do it. This child is most of the time critical. If you observe, they do one thing. Then they say, see, this particular line is a little crooked. I have to change it. Imagine the child is an artist. He takes a canvas and he paints. After some time, he says, this particular line, this color combination, I didn't like. He may, he may turn the entire painting and Try to make a new one. He's critical on, critical on self also and he criticizes others also. Why? He seeks perfection there. When people are not perfect, they try to make people get into that zone. Got it? The, these people also have unique goals. You need to give them unique goals as 
I have told in the eagle personality. Unique goals and they want correctness. Give them and tell them that, mashallah, you have done all this correct. It's all right. Next time when you do, I think this one, if you change, everything will be fine. Nothing more to worry at all. And then start going ahead. And even when they accomplish something small also, something which is insignificant also, make it significant, make them relevant that, okay, you have done this, come on, great. Mashallah, this one you are able to do. Others are not able to and you are able to do it. Give them some goals like, you know, like life skills or the values that has to be inculcated. Make them sit in others' shoes and try to think. If you are in the situation, what will you think about it? Can you imagine now what is happening? Try to explain to them the emotions of others. Give that value to them. Make sure that they are able to, you know, think in others' perspective as well. Because these children will not be able to understand others' feelings unless you give them. In a very young age, you tell them what is, you know, understanding others' feelings through stories or whatever, through incidents, your own incidents, you can tell others' incidents, you can tell some case studies, stories or whatever, but make sure that these values are inculcated, that life skills should be there. These kinds of, you know, in, interpersonal values. Okay? And then we have this combination. Combination of two. That is, you have combination of dominance and interpersonal skills or sorry, uh, your influential skills. Here what happens, influential personality and dominant personality will turn out to be persuasive. Okay? He's persuading. He tries to, he tries to Show people that I can do it. Come on. He tries to influence people in that way. And then there are others who are influential and steady. When you have two things together, you can have management roles. You are able to manage people. Okay? These children can become, you, they, can, they can serve better in the management sections. Okay? And then if you have... There are people who become coordinators. How? They are perfectionists. They are compliant as well as steady. They know how to manage emotions and people's growth. At the same time, they are perfectionists as well. So they become coordinators there. And there are some who become implementers, who try to implement things, who try to rule out. They become the leaders. How? They are dominant and they are compliant. But never can a person become compliant and influential together. C and I together combination will not be seen. Till now we have not seen. S and D also we have not seen. Dominance and steady personality we haven't seen so far. I hope it makes sense. Yes? This is what we all have to understand the combinations. Once you are able to do it, if you find such children, you can guide the career also in the same way. Got it? Because there are, yes, D and S, dominance and steady is totally contrast behaviors. Totally contrast. Right? So you cannot see these things. Yes, persuasive means one who is persuading to do things. If the person is not willing to do also, we try to convince them and try to get it done. After all, the dominant person is what? He wants his thoughts to be implemented and executed. And if he has influential personality together, it is like a boon. So what he does, he knows how to influence people, how to convince people, how to come and make them do that work, how to how to talk to them and get that things done. Got it? That's why they, they like to persuade things. They, they, they make sure that people will be agreeing to what this person is talking about. I hope it makes sense, the Sleema. Okay, so this is what we have to understand. We, yeah, tell me, Nafisa. 
Yeah. Can I have a, I have a question, uh, Kaniz, uh, my son. Actually, he has a personality of dominant as well as an influential. He knows how to convince the people. He knows how to influence others. But uh, what he says is that he tries to do everything and he says, I can do any every, anything. But when at the time of doing something, he was not able to do, but he forced somebody else. Why are, why you are not doing? It's so simple. Do it, do it. He forces, or you can say he tries to dominate the other. Suppose elder son of mine or younger one, he always makes younger one ke try to do. You can do it. He influence also, he dominant also. Sometimes he force him to do. But but for him, if he, if I ask him, why not you try to do this? So he said, it's okay. I am asking him now, don't interfere. Let me do, let me complete my work. I am making him to do, but it's not for me. Can anyone tell me the answer here? Yesterday I have spoken about this. Yesterday I didn't attend the class actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I'll see if others can tell something here. Let me check. We also and it happens every time. Doubts, no, here. We, also, we also see if the students are able to answer or not in the classroom. So I also will play the role of a teacher here. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Anyone? Yesterday we have spoken about this. Power dominate the powers. Okay. Is oh, uh, different types of dominance I have told. Person. So no, power all have personality. Uh, the dominance should be treated in that way. Like let him dominate. You should we should mentor them and not advise them. No, no, no. I'm not talking about this. Now here Nafisa is asking, my son will be dominant. He tries to dominate people. He tries to make sure that things are done. I mean, his siblings, whatever he, he wants his younger brother to do, he will be making them do the work. But when it comes to himself, he will not do it. Mild dominant. Mild dominance. Must have in people. Polishing. Okay. okay. Any, any other answer? Any other answer? Foul. Foul dominance is the answer. He is not dominant. He will be influential, but he will not be dominant. He is foul dominant. He cannot take that responsiveness. He is not responding. He doesn't respond. He is not oh. responsive only because that is he shows he is dominant, but he is not I hope it makes sense to everybody here. Understand this. There are people who will not implement all that with themselves, but they will show it to others. You do it. You do it. You do it. He pretend to do, but he won't. He won't do it. Uh, he so won't. He's not a dominant child. He, he may be an influential person. So he's trying to influence people and he wants that dominance. He wants that leadership. But uh, he, he wants that leadership. And he wants that at every time at my home place, every time at our place, everybody, every family member of mine listens to me. Whatever I will say, they will do whatever I am saying. He, he tries to say, Manika, okay, fine, we will do it. It's okay. You are the elder one. Now you are a grown-up child. It's fine. It's okay. But when it comes to you, why you are not doing it? If you want to set an example, first you, you show it to us. Okay, then only he will do na, if he sees you doing this particular thing like my brother is doing so that I will also do. Okay, no, 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 it's okay. Do whatever I am saying. Don't let me do anything. It's my wish. If I want to do, I will do. Otherwise, I will not. But whatever I am saying, you have to do that only. Again, this is this, that, is again that is, that is another thing. thing. Now here comes that dominant part again. See, here the child is dominant and he doesn't want anybody. He there is it's not all the time foul here, I can say. Why? Because if he has to take action for growing, for the growth, and he doesn't take action, that is foul dominance. But here, if he is only telling that it's my wish, I'll do if I want, I'll if I don't want, I'll not do it. Who are you to care about it? Who are you to ask me about it? That means it is exactly dominant only. He yeah. is dominant. He doesn't want to, he doesn't want to agree what people are telling. 
forceful okay. why should i do it why why yeah it is forceful and sometimes what happens is in some ways in some ways he may try to convince people okay and he may try to convince himself also which he may not be able to do it if it is in the management growth or you know he is he is trying to make people understand the logics and everything and then he is not able to implement then it becomes a foul domain but if, if it is the small behaviors like for example sometimes i say you have to go to the masjid we hardly pray and we tell go to the masjid go to the masjid and we we, we shout at children go to the masjid go to the masjid they yeah. go and they come and tell us did you finish your prayers i'll know i know when to do you need not come and tell me exactly same example happened to me actually i was not praying last uh, before umrah i was not a uh, continuous right? and when i asked my son why are you are not praying he said exactly this to me did you pray maine kaha i will do it it's okay fine but now it's your turn you go na maine kaha aapko you have to answerable to allah on your own and i will be answerable to me but then i realized this is right if i am not following anything if i am not doing anything how can i say this to other person and when we went to umrah and when we came back then after that i am a five time prayer it's okay alhamdulillah uh, it's good now if i ask my son to he won't have an answer to say this me did you pray because he saw me that mother my mother is continuously praying now like and if i'll say okay, okay you have performed na you have done you now you are good answerable to allah let me do my own job whatever i have to answer i will answer by my own please don't say again uh, again again to me Okay, did you pray or not? Did you pray to me? I will answer by my own. Please, I have a grown-up child. Let me do me handle me and my Allah knows better why what I am doing, what I will not. Please, you do your own job. This is a very sometimes very rebellious case. Please don't ask me again, again. Go for prayer. Go for prayer, please. Because sometimes, so he says, "Yeah, I don't want to pray. I will answer to Allah because of you continuously saying this to me. I am praying just because of you." Because well, Alhamdulillah, Allah ka shukar hai for me. If you are say, doing na, okay, fine. Because this is a, a very obligatory. This is the important thing. You have to do this na. Because please, Mama, please don't say I this again. I will be again. replying to this, Inshallah, after the azan. Just a moment. Okay. Give me that time. We have told in Islamic religion, responsibility. He is a man. He should earn a family. Everything. He said, "I will live a simple life. I don't want much. I don't need degree. I don't need so many years. I don't want to waste. I can learn some skill and just go. Uh, like I can learn driving and I will. Like it's so hard for him to convince this. Can you help me? In how can I convince him? I'm also facing the same issue." <laughs> to be very frank, <laughs> we are also, in the same boat. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, uh -huh. but that is also there. That is also their their point of view. What I did was, I went to us again. Um, see, um, ghar ki murgi dal barabar, right? Yeah. We don't want whatever we tell. We don't want to yes, listen exactly. to all this. So what I did was, I took him to another counselor. Why I took mm -hmm. him? And I gave all the psychometric assessments, everything, fingerprint analysis, psychoprint, psychometric assessment, whatever I have about my child, I have given that particular thing to Mr. So and So, and and there he said, this is like an MRI scan, ma'am. Everything you know. Then why did you come to me? See, I said the problem is the same. Okay. I cannot convince my son because he feels that I'm talking with you know ah uh, your NLP and all you leave it he'll come and tell me you leave that NLP mama I know what you're asking now so he comes and tells all that the thing is first make make them understand that life is not just to lead a life we have not been given here only to lead a life we want we want to have a purpose in life. Okay, imagine, imagine. Now, let let them imagine. I mean, if you will not be able to say this, tell some other uh, some other professionals. You can you can take them. Okay, so you tell. Make sure that the person is able to explain to them 
to him what exactly is the scenario in the world right now. There are doctors who are not humane. There are lawyers who are doing for the sake of money. There are people everywhere you have. They are all economical. They are all trying to be rich, trying to focus only on money. They are all money-oriented and goal-oriented, but they are not people-focused. They don't know what is happening to the, I mean, the feelings about people, their, their, their needs. It's not at all cared. So if there is one doctor who will say, Bismillah, when he's doing his analysis, who will say, at least Bismillah, when he's starting his, when he's going to the operation theater, and who is very genuinely trying to help people, not calling them to death, not making money out of the dead body. If such doctors are there in this world, people, people would, you know, how would, how would they feel about you, about such doctors? How would you feel about such doctors? How would you feel if a lawyer is diligently working for only truth? If he finds that this person is selling lies, he will just deny it. He will cancel that. Whatever the person is payment, pay, he is paying for, he doesn't even care for it. What, how will the society be? Just talk about these things. Understood? Mm -hmm. If you are not yeah. able to talk, tell some other some others, maybe your own, uh, your family members, anybody whom he trusts, you know, like mm -hmm. he has his own mentor, maybe his teachers or lecturers or anybody in the school, his friends, mothers or father, you know, where, where he considers and respects, ask them to talk mm -hmm. about it indirectly. Mm -hmm. You don't go to talk. I have yes. done this and it works. Yeah. It works. Yeah. My yeah. son was telling me, why should I learn math? Why? Tell me math. Why? We have calculator. Anytime anything can happen, why I should? You know what yeah, he gave exactly. the answer? He gave the answer. Imagine you go home and you identify your mother as a mother. When you go home, the moment you go home, you'll understand that my, mom, my mama is here. Imagine your mind is not working. And you have to go and search for four or five pictures in the mobile. Then you will be able to understand. Like Amir Khan in the movie where he is having short-term memory loss. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't know if you have watched the movie. So he yeah, has yeah. Uh, moved in, in, uh, in uh, what is that? I... Gajni. Gajni. Yes, Gajni. And he he remembers only after seeing certain things. Yes, yes. Imagine you will see four or five pictures. Okay, this is my mama. Oh, yeah, this is identical. Okay, then you are my mama. Imagine if that was the condition of your brain, how would it happen? Yeah, difficult question. <laughs> yeah. So my ma my son was able to understand that without calculator, also when our brain has got that efficiency, then why not work for it? Got it? That's how. See, the way of explaining things, we have that same pattern. We try to convince them in that way where people, children don't feel like accepting it. When somebody mm -hmm. else, the same answer, I have told him in different ways, but that was not accepted. Now he told yes, in another yes. way. Got I it? got you. Yeah, that's I, how. Like I that have this example. If somebody is there in your family who is yeah. whom he'll trust, your family yeah. members, your his grandfather or you know grandmother yeah, yeah, or it. maybe yeah, his yeah. uncle, anybody whom he trusts, talk to them. In uh, once just a small example, like we always tell him to wear the formal shirts he doesn't like but that day the very day when he went to his grandmother house uh, my his grandmother said him the first day we were surprised to see him wearing proper formal dress uh, the t shirt and the pant and like we were telling the whole year and it didn't so i got your point alhamdulillah yeah. exactly now anybody like wants to know how to assess if anyone wants to know there is a tool called psychometric assessment, okay, which is which is uh, a basic one, okay. We have around uh, some questions. 
uh, and then you have to give a tick mark to it. When there is something called, um, you know, set of A's and set of B's, you have the list and there you will have to identify which one amongst this is the highest in me and which is the lowest in my character or then you will identify which is the highest and the lowest and the number that is there you will calculate and then you can identify your personality that is called psychometric the basic psychometric it's not the career psychometric that we do for the career counseling that is totally different we have 14 to 26 pages i mean different different patterns we have so 14 pages psychometric assessment is given for those who want to have career counseling career guidance but those who don't want to have that just want to identify your own um, personality then you have a small paper where you can just two sheets i think so small question questionnaire kind of a thing and then you will be able to identify if anybody wants that you can just personally message me inshallah i can give it to you don't worry about it Okay, so that's what I wanted to tell. In case you have anything to ask, you can follow me from, I mean, you can take a screenshot of all this. You can follow my Insta and my all social media handle so that you can get insights. My YouTube channel is there. In English, I have Dua Success. And in Berry also, I have Kanis Fatima is the name. You can search for Berry also. You will get that. And my website, my LinkedIn profile, anything that you want, you can get in touch with me, inshallah. And let me know. Anybody wants to have connection with like having partnership, the school partner. We have been doing this for quite some time. The As I told you, our own team, we are in a team right now. We have almost thousand plus coaches also career coaches also so we are doing if if you are into you know um, elementary school and high school level 8th 9th 10th 12th up to 12th standard if you are really interested to know about career guidance and about cuet exams and how you can make your children appear for all these things and you know to get more insights about this we can have a partnership schools as we have with the rest of the schools also inshallah so just let me know about it if you are interested so that we can get back to you and we can work on it together so that we can help our children also to pursue these kinds of courses because you know that cuet is mandatory right now for all the degree holders right bachelors just like how neat we have neat and uh, cet just like that cuet is also for pu students after once they finish their pu they have to answer I mean, as soon as they finish their board exams, they'll have to answer this exam, okay? So make sure that, I think in the month of March, May they have, the, March and April they have this exams, okay? So make sure that we facilitate our students in a better way and make things grow in a better way so that, you know, we can have right exposure at right times. People, you know, parents are deprived of all this. Parents don't know more about it. So if you want to get in touch with me, just let me know about it. We can have a talk. We can we can have conversations together. We can have everything online also. Don't worry about it. Inshallah, we can, we can grow together. Okay. So with this, I would like to wind up the session. But meanwhile, I want everybody to give me a small review about whatever has happened or what you felt about the session today. Anyone? How did you feel about the two-day session? Whatever you felt, uh, anyone would like to tell about these things? Yes, Nafisa, one minute. I'm just going to pin you. Yeah. Today only, I am very overwhelmed and I'm very thankful to you. Whatever suggestions you have given me, Thank you very much. Allah bless you a lot. It means a lot to me so that I come across some new things, which I already knew it, but as the time passes, I forgot. And again, I recall myself, yes, whatever she's saying is right. I knew this and I will definitely try to do and make my son only on that path only. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot, Kanis. Thank you. I'll connect to you definitely. I'll talk to you, speak to you personally. Take care after the session. If you have time. Thank you very Jazakal. much. Jazakallah. It's an amazing Jazakal. session. Uh, you can say uh, mind opener, uh, very innovative. Uh, you, what, what Intellectual, you can say. You can open up. You have opened the minds of so many things 
which we already knew it but we forgot exactly exactly that is happening with most of us we we no. all have to understand this once we once we learn and we don't implement it hmm. that will be always somewhere in the in the uh, zone where out of reach out, out of reach <laughs> exactly yes, yes. so again uh, if anybody who has not yet yeah. one minute I... anyone else One minute. Uh, Sadia also wants to do it. Just a moment. Why has I... Yeah, yeah, you're here. Add pen. Yeah, got it. Sorry. You are not Sadia. I'm so sorry. It's Sabina Ilyas. I thought it was Sadia. Just a moment. Where are you, Sadia? I can't see you. Yes, you're there. Add pen. Yeah. Can I talk now? Yeah. For a beautiful, amazing session, it's not just uh, I'm not a teacher as such right now, <laughs> but it was I, I feel you are a doctor. Just, <laughs> no, I, I joined this not for, as I'm not in teaching, but I was as a parent, it's not just for teachers, it's just more important for a parent, especially. We, as you said, we have gone through this and uh, even we are doing this with our children and it has damaged so many uh, talents and skills and so many emotions that uh, has happened with us. We don't want to repeat the same with our children. And I have, um, with uh, not just with children, even with the students, I think more important with humans, human relationship we are in the family, with the sisters, with the siblings, I think it's whole and whole important for whole, every kind of uh, uh, relationship, starting with the kids. So I feel it's needed for everyone, not just for teachers. So it's been very, very, very uh, eye-opener. And I hope we can work through this and have a happy people in our families and in our ummah. I mean, Jazakallah. May Allah bless you. MashaAllah. Okay. Anyone else would like to say something? Reshma. Yes, ma'am. Thank you very much. The session was uh, indeed very wonderful and very useful also. And thank you once again for being so understanding and for all the prayers that you have given to me. Thank you very much, ma'am. Jazakallah oh, khairan. May Allah bless you. MashaAllah. Okay. Anyone else here, Anisha, would like to say something? Would you like to say uh, something about the session? Yeah, Anisha? Love, it was a useful one. And thank you so much once again. Okay. May Allah bless you. Yes, Rifa, you were there with me. Thank for providing beneficial knowledge and this will be much, much helpful for me to raise my kids and uh, inshallah in my future too. Jazakallah khair. Yes, inshallah. Okay, Jazakallah khair. Uh, Gauss Vikhar, Mr. Gauss, yes, are you there? Can I pin you? Yes, Shazia, I'll be giving you a chance. Yes, unmute yourself, please. Can you? Please unmute. I have given you the request. Assalamualaikum, ma'am. Yeah, meanwhile, I'll just okay, one minute. Yeah, Alhamdulillah, yeah. your class is very wonderful. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you immensely. Jazakallah khair, ma'am. Amen. Amen. Thanks a lot. Jazakallah. Yeah, Ghaus, Mr. Ghaus, can you now come to spotlight?
यस हाँ ये जो सेक्शन था दो दिन का बहुत ही खुशी महसूस हुई जो आप जिस तरह से बता रहे थे मैडम बहुत ही खुशी महसूस हुई उसके तहत दूसरे लोग भी सुन रहे थे उससे सबक भी हासिल कर रहे थे ऐसा दिख रहा था कि हम जो है फिर से एक स्कूल में आके बैठ के जो है आपसे सबक हासिल कर रहे हैं तो उसके मुताबिक हम जी हम भी जो है आपसे सीख के जो है हमारे तहत हमारे स्कूलों में जो भी बच्चे रहते हैं उनको बताने की कोशिश करेंगे बहुत बहुत जजाक अल्लाह खैर मैडम अस्सलाम वालेकुम वाले वरम यस ओके सबीना यू वुड लाइक टू यस वन मिनट रिप्लेस यस यू आर ऑन म्यूट moment sabina you are on mute yeah now tell me i just want to say that you are amazing man the way you explain the concept the topic itself was very i mean it was marvelous kind of because after attending this session my point of view of looking at persons will be completely different because now i i am uh, aware what kind, uh, kind of person and they belong to what they possess and how we how to be uh, deal with them and um, and Many things, like many, many things, I was able to understand and uh, learn from your session. And thank you so much for this wonderful session. And Jazak Allah Khair. May Allah bless you abundantly, and good wealth and health and everything. Inshallah. And Jazak Allah Khair once again. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Yes, Taslima, you would like to say something? Come on. You were practicing something, I suppose. Yes, ma'am. Can you hear? Yes, yes, you're audible, loud and clear. Tell me. Yeah, it was a great workshop and very informative. Can you, can you just can you just uh yeah uh, take a, uh, bring your mobile little uh, to your uh, left. Left side. Yes. Yeah. Now you're yeah you're clear. Your face is half seen. Yes. Ah, now it's clear. Great opportunity for discussion purpose, and I'm inspired to bring this back to the work of and to my life also, and to identify the people. It was like we were not knowing. I was actually I was not knowing what was the like, personality kinds, and we were just simply okay, okay, fine, like that kind. And now we got to know all those four kinds of personalities. And even in me, I was thinking which one is am I? But. <laughs> So fine, it was a great what to say opportunity for discussion purpose. It was good. Great. And at least you were able to analyze your. You were able to analyze yeah. your. Yes, mashallah, alhamdulillah. That's great. Thank you. Okay. Yes, Reshma Arra, you would like to say something? You are on mute. Yes. Jazakallah khairan. Very good, mashallah. Alhamdulillah. Okay. How will it help you in the career, inshallah? Next. Inshallah. You will. You will try to definitely incorporate all these things, whatever is taught, right? Inshallah. Jazakallah khair. Okay. May Allah bless everyone, inshallah, and uh, do pray for all of us, each one of us. Okay, whoever is there in the group, please let us pray for each other in the month of Ramadan and make sure that this will be. Can you mute your Rishma? Yeah, okay, I'll mute. So let us make sure that this particular, uh, you know, it will be a bond for all of us to meet together and learn new things. Make this platform something very fruitful. Okay, and uh, instead of instead of telling all this bombarding with messages we'll just have useful messages and promise me that you will be again giving your reviews those who have not given your reviews in the google uh, please give me your reviews in the google and uh, make sure that uh, you will also tell in the group how you felt after joining the session so that others also will be motivated and they get inspired to watch at least the recording inshallah how many of you have watched the recording i i request in case you feel like better you watch the recording again the first day also even if you have attended live i know how significant changes you can have when you see two or three times so that's the reason i have given this recording as much as possible spread it to people whoever wants it just give it okay 
inshallah we can connect and anybody who wants to connect with me for teachers training or you want to have any kind of teachers training session in your school tell me i can i can be there inshallah and uh, if you want any kind of career guidance program or you want to have a partnership program whatever it is we can have a talk on this and then we can proceed inshallah okay, okay. with this i would like to conclude fi amanillah and pray for me my parents my children my spouse and everybody it's not i'm not seeking prayers for the return no it's not like that as a means of you no know, ramadan is just that the concern that's it and just because i gave you this and in return you have to pray me i'm not telling that okay i'm not eligible for all that but let me make it very clear this is just a request in the month of ramadan may allah make it easy for all of us and accept this rabbana taqabbal minna innaka antas samiul alim wa tab alaina innaka antat tawwabur rahim subhanak allahumma wa bihamdika nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilaik assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah fi amanillah